Some telescope researchers have published science quality photos from the James Webb Space Telescope, which are more magnificent than anyone could have imagined. Since the team posted these enticing photographs, the excitement among professional astronomers has been electrifying. Stay tuned till the end to learn about the James Webb Space Telescope and NASA's first images. Webb was meant to capture light from the red to mid-infrared spectrums, obstructed by the Earth's atmosphere. Its mission is to aid scientists in their research into the development of the universe's oldest galaxies, how they compare to today's galaxies, how our solar system evolved, and whether or not life exists in other worlds. With its massive mirror and sunshade filtering infrared radiated by the sun, earth and moon, Webb may provide photos of unprecedented quality. As soon as the array of equipment aboard cooled down, Astronomers swung into action by putting Webb to work. A total of five photos were published on July 12, 2022. Each initial image included enough data to generate significant scientific discoveries. The long-awaited photos revealed the oldest galaxies ever seen by human eyes, evidence of water on a planet a thousand light-years distant, and astounding insights about a star, birth, and death. When the first photographs were presented during the presentation, Webb project scientist Jane Rigby said, there is no blank sky for Webb. Wherever it looks, it detects faraway galaxies. Most of these galaxies were previously unseen. The James Webb Space Telescope is sensitive enough to not only detect light passing through the atmospheres of distant planets, but also to measure the intensity of this light at various wavelengths which may indicate the existence of water or other molecules in an atmosphere. The pictures also show gravitational lensing and several brilliant galaxies. The smaller, fainter, less different galaxies represent some of the earliest light ever observed by a man-made device. Let's dive in and analyze these images. Web Image 1 The first web picture is that of a galaxy cluster named SMACS 0723 by scientists. It is 5.12 billion light years away from Earth and is located in the southern hemisphere. In this image, the tiniest items have yet to be seen, and it's roughly the size of a grain of sand stretched out at arm's length. It's like looking at the universe through a high-definition camera. By sharpening distant galaxies with Rebs near cam, scientists have discovered star clusters and hazy areas previously hidden from view. More distant galaxies, like those found when the universe was just a billion years old, are magnified by the combined mass of this galaxy cluster. At around the same age as the Sun and Earth, these white galaxies are part of a cluster of stars. More distant galaxies surround and are scattered among the cluster galaxies. Still, they are stretched into stunning arcs as if viewed through a magnifying glass. The background galaxies are considerably further away from Earth. Still, their light is deflected toward the Earth by the gravity of the much nearer cluster, making them look magnified. Astronomers can detect that they originated over 13 billion years ago by analyzing the specific properties of their light, and they can even measure the number of certain elements in these early galaxies. Webb's mid-infrared instrument, which detects mid-infrared light, captured this area. Research has shown that light from these galaxies took billions of years to reach the Earth. At shorter wavelengths, the stars seem brighter because of the diffraction spikes. Using Webb's MIRI image, we can see where the dust is, a crucial ingredient in the forming of stars and eventually life itself. Galaxies with a lot of leads but little dust are blue. In contrast, those with many hydrocarbons and other chemical compounds are green. Webb Image 2 WASP-96b WASP-96b is a superheated gas giant exoplanet that circles a sun-like star in the constellation Phoenix, 1,150 light-years away. Webb looked at the WASP-96 star system for 6 hours and 23 minutes, starting around 212 hours before the transit and finishing approximately 112 hours after the transit was completed. Although the entire voyage lasted a little less than 212 hours, a transit happens when an orbiting planet passes between a star and a telescope, obscuring part of the star's light. The device detected changes in brightness as tiny as 0.02% in this observation. 
Although the planet's existence, size, mass, and orbit were previously known based on prior transit observations, this light transit curve may be used to confirm and enhance existing data, such as the planet's diameter, transit time, and orbital parameters. The curve has 280 distinct brightness measurements, with one every 1.4 minutes. Because the observation was obtained using a spectrograph, which divides the light into hundreds of separate wavelengths, each of the 280 dots on the scope represents the combined brightness of thousands of infrared light wavelengths. Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph light curve depicts the change in brightness of light from the WASP-96 star system over time as the planet transits the star. This observation was performed using NIRISS's single-object slitless spectroscopy mode, which includes recording the spectra of a single bright object in a field of view, such as the star WASP-96. The backdrop image of WASP-96b and its sun-like star is based on current knowledge of the planet gleaned from NIRISS's spectroscopy and prior ground and space-based investigations. Webb could not get a direct photograph of the Earth or its atmosphere. Undoubtedly, NIRIS is perfect for this observation since it can examine reasonably bright objects over time and the sensitivity required to quantify such minor brightness differences. Web image number 3, the Southern Ring Nebula. One can see a slew of brilliantly illuminated lines cutting through the gas and dust clouds. Starlight emitted by the brilliant star travels through the nebula's holes like sunshine through a cloud's crevice. By causing turbulence, the dazzling center star in this planetary nebula has helped stir the pot, modifying the form of its delicate rings. The nebula's primary star is faintly visible along one of its diffraction spikes at the bottom left. It has spewed at least eight layers of gas and dust for thousands of years. The dimmer star's expelled material is sprayed in diverse directions by the tight orbit of the two stars, resulting in the ring's jagged edges. Even though NGC 3132 Central Star is clearly visible in near-infrared light, its effect on shaping its surrounding nebula is minimal. An edge-on view of a distant galaxy explains the brilliant angled line in the top left. Spirals of all forms and colors may also be seen in the distance, with the furthest ones being tiny, red, and dusty. Distant galaxies cover the planetary nebula's clear red parts and the surrounding surroundings. Web image number 4, Stefan's Quintet NGC 7320, the outlier, is substantially closer to the Earth than the others, resting at 40 million light-years distance. It is therefore in the forefront of the picture, with the other four NGC 7317, NGC 7318A, NGC 7318B, and NGC 7319 positioned behind it and it's around 290 million light-years away from Earth. The telescope's near-infrared spectrograph and mid-infrared instrument could distinguish individual stars and the galaxy's bright nucleus. It depicts how interacting galaxies cause star formation in one another and how gas in galaxies is disrupted and includes about 150 million pixels and is made up of roughly 1,000 different image files. Stefan's Quintet contains five galaxies, and only four are close to one another. It's thought that such closely spaced groupings of galaxies were more prevalent in the early universe, when their superheated infalling material may have powered very active black holes known as quasars. Web image number five, the Carina Nebula. The picture of the Carina Nebula displays the richness of space rather than throwing emphasis on its immensity. It reveals the countless newborn stars sparkling like diamonds in the nebula. These stars are so hot that they whip cosmic gas about, forming peaks and troughs at the nebula's boundary. At the first view, the nebula's edge seems to be a rocky peak, something challenging and accessible. Through a closer look, you'll learn that it's seemingly velvety and dusty. You'll be thrilled to know that more stars glow in the darkness behind that curtain of dust. There's much more than we generally anticipate when considering the cosmos. When researchers dive further into Webb's data, much more information will be discovered. Researchers will soon learn more about the galaxy's masses, ages, histories, and compositions. They'll be able to utilize data like this to better understand how galaxies develop, expand, and merge with one another, and why these cease creating stars entirely in certain situations. 
Are you excited about this? Let us know in the comment section down below. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates of space news coming your way very soon. Thanks for watching.